Hi, I'm Varun from MJT Ahmedabad. My topics, my topics are based on biodegradable stunts. So, for in the pain situation, many people are suffering from heart strokes and chest pain because in the artery walls the cortisol is piling up. In that case, we are using these stunts. So, they are fighters of stunts. I'm mainly focusing on biodegradable stunts or biovascular stunts or scaffold stunts. So, properties. In the properties, uh, first of all, when we implement the stunt into the body, the stunt has some properties. So they are biocompatibility, non-toxic, good collagen resistance, and low profile. So coming to the elements, uh, uh, metallic, metallic elements, materials. So in uh, in the in the past 1980s, the first metallic uh, metallic stunt was, uh, was developed was stainless steel. From this. Uh, by, by saying this name, we, can, we come to know that this uh, this steel has more uh, more amount of FC content. So uh, due to that, we are uh, we we getting weak collagen resistance and non MRI compatibility. And these uh, stainless steel stunts are thicker stunts with low mechan mechanical properties. Due to that, they develop new stunts. They are cobalt chromium alloy stunts. These stunts have thicker stunts than the stainless steel stunt, and they uh, uh, and they have excellent MRIs. Let's come into the nickel titanium alloy. This uh, this alloy uh, this uh, alloy stunts have self-expanded stunts because these stunts have a small diameter at the room temperature and expands when exposed to the body temperature. It shows excellent collagen resistance and excellent MRA also. So next come into the biodegradable stunts. So in the biodegradable stunts, uh, 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 these stunts are especially uh, special for uh, because they degrade inside the body itself. So the degradation rate for the biological stunts are 6 to 12, 12 months. So in this range only the uh, the body uh, the stunt has degraded or else it arms the uh, arms the body. So on this basis, two alloys are developed. They are magnesium alloys and iron alloys. So magnesium alloys. Magnesium alloys have I biocompatibility and non MRI compatibility. So the uh, also uh, the disadvantage in this study, uh, in stunt is because the uh, these stunts are degraded within four months only. So the degradation rate for these stunts are less, and the bio compat and the non MR compatibility also is there. So due to that, uh, uh, next comment to iron alloys. Iron uh, alloys has better uh, better uh, properties than the magnesium uh, alloys. Uh, they are th th thinner stunts. They uh, they show slow deg uh, degradation rates and low toxic toxicity. Next comment to the, our main alloy. So this alloy was pro uh, this developed by ASA Chennai in the March. In this year, so uh, the special in this alloy is uh, is what is in this we have more than 29 percent of manganese, which show which exhibit single uh, oscillatory phase with uh, my compatibility. As we know, the uh, Fe uh, Fe shows uh, Fe shows uh, ferromagnetic magnetism magnetism. So due, due to that, uh, this manganese makes them into the para, uh, paramagnetic, and uh, so so that the uh, MRI uh, MRI scans will be taken easily. So also, the, uh, also this uh, uh, these stunts are uh, mechanical integrity from three to six months and completely di disappear from the body in 24 to 24 months. So they show good collagen resistance and biocompatible. So we come to the magnetism process. So these are process, these are two process uh, which are uh, shown on the screen. So uh, the, uh, the first uh, first process was uh, was, uh, was developed by the uh, for the non biological stunts and the second process uh, which uh, developed for the this biological stunts. The main this uh, adv difference in, in this in this uh, in this because is there because uh, in the uh, bi non biological stunts we have more porosity and the uh, and the properties also are not fit compared to the biological stunts. Coming to this, these are properties uh, which uh, which which are there. So for for uh, for them as uh, uh, compared to the stainless steel and magnesium alloys, this uh, this alloy which I uh, which I taken Fe manganese as uh, better better property. For con con conclusion, in con con conclusion, so uh, we have come to the concept of biodegradable stunts because if the stunts are present for longer time in the in a ward, they are not beneficial for us because but the but after six to uh, twelve months they become toxic and get disintegrated in the body so this is, this is harmful for us so uh, because for, for this case we are, we are coming, coming to biodegradable stunts uh, and then uh, go, going to non-biodegradable stunts in non-biodegradable stunts uh, uh, they show these properties and they, 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 they not degrade in the body 
so also the the, the many, also the magnetic forces is also better compared to the non non resistance as we see as we seen before uh, so in, in this alloy this way especially because uh, this this alloy shows better prop, uh, better properties than stainless steel as compared with stainless steel it's a uh, good, good corrosion resistance and exists a single oscillating phase with the mi compatibility so my uh, my future scope of work is to adopt three uh, three printing for this uh, alloys uh, for this trans to, uh, to manufacture more number of com uh, components and the time also in, uh, decrease for that so but the but the uh, disadvantage in the, the three printing is that we, uh, we get more porosity if the if the major porosity in the three printing we can adapt that uh, process for this stance.